dear students welcome to build from basics youtube channel the circuit shows ac source is supplying a inductive load the instantaneous voltage current and power waveforms across the pure inductives pure inductor is shown the figure beside here the blue curve and red curve are the voltage and current in the circuit as you can see the voltage the current here lacks the voltage because this is the voltage waveform this is the current current lacks the voltage by 90 degrees because it's a pure inductor it lacks the voltage by 90 degrees so the reason i will explain uh, here okay why it lacks by 90 degrees or why basically current lacks uh, by voltage in a pure inductor so basically you know that when a time varying voltage applied across a pure inductor an opposing voltage called back emf is produced by the inductor due to its self inductance it's also called lenz law this back emf opposes and limits the current flowing in the inductor so it opposes the current flowing in the inductor therefore current through the inductor cannot follow the voltage across it and it always lags behind it therefore if the inductor is pure the current lags behind the voltage by 90 degrees so because of this back emf and self inductance the current cannot follow the voltage and it lags be lags behind the voltage by 90 degrees now let's look at the instantaneous power in the inductor the green waveform is instantaneous power here it is a product of voltage and current the instantaneous power is measured in v volt ampere you, you, as you can see the instantaneous power pulsate between the identical negative and positive half cycles negative cycle and positive half cycles with a double the frequency of supply voltage so this is supply voltage frequency it has only one wave one complete cycle but the uh, power waveform has two cycles that's why the frequency is double the frequency but if you see the average of this green curve that is the power is zero because it has equal negative half cycles and equal magnitude of positive half cycle basically then the average power is nothing but the active power across a pure inductor is zero so the average instantaneous power is called active power and it's zero and it is shown as a dashed line in this figure now the active power in an inductor you know it's a multiplication of vi cos pi v here is rms voltage and i is uh, rms current and cos pi so pi is the angle between instantaneous voltage and current it is 90 degrees that's why by equation also active power is zero and the reactive power is vi sine pi sine pi is one and therefore vi sine pi is equivalent to v multiplied by i that means the upper end power constitutes only reactive power in a pure uh, inductive circuit there is no active power that's why s is equivalent to q the circuit elements are shown in the table so what we will do let's take a single phase supply 11 kv supply 11 kv is a, 11 kv is a phase um, line voltage and um, uh, the phase voltage is then uh, 6.35 kv let's take the uh, let's take a transformer of uh, 23 kva and with a ratio 6.35 kilovolts uh, in the primary and the 230 volts in the secondary so then the rated current in the primary is 3.62 kilo uh, ampere the 3.62 amperes and the secondary is 100 amperes uh, to supply uh, now let's calculate the resistor inductor and capacitor using these formulas so z is equal to z is impedance here z is equal to v square by s here v is the voltage that is 230 and s is the power 23 kva so r is equivalent to z 
and L is z by 2 pi f and c equivalent to 1 by 2 pi fz. If we use these formulas, we will get these values. Place with the inductor and run the simulations. So now it is an inductor, run the simulations. So the right side, the blue and red curves in the graph are instantaneous voltage and current. As you can notice, the, the current the current here lacks the voltage by 90 degrees. The green curve in the graph below is instantaneous power. The power equally oscillates between negative and positive half cycles. That's why the average power is zero. The RMS voltage and current shown in the graph below. The RMS current is 100 amperes, which is equal. Active and reactive power, you know, together they make the upper end power. The active power is the multiplication of RMS voltage V and RMS current and the cosine of angle between them. The units of active power is watts or kilowatt or megawatt. The reactive power is, it is the multiplication of RMS voltage, current and the sine of angle between voltage and current. The unit of reactive power is kilovolt ampere reactive. KVAR or volt ampere reactive or megawatt. It depends on uh, the amount of uh, reactive power. And finally, the apparent power S is the, the, the units of apparent power is either volt ampere or kilovolt ampere or megawatt ampere. This is just uh, reminding some basics to you. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. We hope it is helpful to you. We request you to subscribe Build From Basics YouTube channel by clicking the bell button and share with others for those uh, whom you think it is uh, relevant. This will encourage us to post more such videos in future. You know, you can always post your questions in the comments and